chair and a rocking chair? Time out chairs for thinking about what you did wrong. A rocking chair, you can't help but think about all that's right. Come on by. There's a rocker on the front porch with your name on it. Cracker Barrel Old Country Store. Eat, shop, relax. Hey guys, today we are at Cracker Barrel. Now there's over 650 of these around the United States. We've never done a vlog from here. We've eaten here several times, but we are here for the fall menu. So that's what we're going to order from. Got some new items on it. You're about ready to come in here and check it out with us. So are you ready, Bobby? I'm ready. Let's rock and roll. Let's rock and roll. All right, guys, we're not gonna go over the whole menu. We're here just for the fall menu. Here it is, there's your new country fried pickles and a Jack Daniels country cocktail, Southern Peach. Let's open it up. There's a new breakfast item, Biscuit Benny. Cheesy ham and sausage egg bake for $8.99. Steak and egg casserole for $11.99, but it's lunchtime for us. So here are the barrel bites. It all looks pretty good. Country fried pickles, breaded dill pickles fried until golden, served with ranch and white cheddar cheese bites. Those are the two new ones. Those are the ones they've had before. Chicken fried chicken, they've had that. There's the Jack Daniels. This is new apple streusel pie. Peanut butter cup mocha. This is what I'm getting. The kicking ranch fried chicken. Does that not look good? Strawberry lemonade is back. This is also a new side. Broccoli cheese casserole. This is the back of the fall menu. Bobby's deciding what she's gonna get. That came fast. Here's the kicking ranch chicken. And you can see the ranch on that, in that breading dill pickle ranch dressing for it. Got some biscuits and muffins. Mashed potatoes, macaroni and cheese. Another new item with fried pickles and ranch dressing. And what did you get, Bobby? Chicken fried chicken, mashed potatoes, and the new casserole, broccoli casserole. I'm gonna try this first. They're nicely breaded, aren't they? They are. I like the breading that they used on this. You can see everything's coated. They came out nice and hot. So I, I would get these again. I like this. Alright guys, I'm gonna try them. I'm gonna try them without the ranch. These are delicious. Those are fried to perfection. I mean they're they're not soggy. Perfectly crisp. I'm gonna try it in the ranch. Nice dill flavor. Great appetizer, great way to start off the meal. Here's the main thing we came here for. Now this is hand breaded chicken. So it has this zesty ranch seasoning in it. Can you guys see that? The creamy buffalo ranch sauce. Instead of just plain old buffalo wing sauce, it's ranch sauce. And pickle ranch. So a lot of ranch going on. Let's try, let's just try this little wing first. Four pieces, plenty. Nice, crispy flavor with that ranch that's inside that breading. 
didn't get a lot of bite out of the uh, buffalo sauce. Maybe I didn't get any of it. Got some of it there. Just had a little bite to it. Nothing bad. You could probably eat this, Bobby. But I'm gonna try this press with the ranch. Let's go to this bigger piece. But I just wanna show you again. You see the ranch. I don't know if the camera can zoom in on it. How it is so loaded. I'm gonna take it like this. See if it's nice and crispy. So I'm gonna dip it in that ranch. Nice piece. Dipping in this pickle ranch. Here we go. Now the pickle ranch is decent, but you know, I kind of like it better just the way it is without even dipping it. Just look at it. Decent sized chicken breast. Bear it open for you guys to see. But I like it. I love the southern fried chicken they have here, but I like this better. Hey, Bobby, try your broccoli casserole. See a lot of the breadcrumbs they have on that. It has cheese sauce and it has rice and butter cracker crumbles in it. Well, what did you think about it? I like how they have all those breadcrumbs on there and made it creamy with the rice and the cheese and the broccoli. I hope they keep this on the menu. This is limited time. Now that meal you have is not, but like the chicken that I have, October 9th for a lot of these items. You gotta get out and get them. Okay. These are homemade mashed potatoes. Yep. You can tell because there's still like chunks of the potatoes in it with the gravy. Homemade gravy here too. Yeah. And I got the chicken. Two nice pieces. We'll be taking some of that home, I bet we you. We will be. I like the braiding on that also, the gravy. So those are pretty nice sized chicken breasts, aren't they? Yeah. I mean, for lunch, that's that's definitely going to fill you up probably the rest of the day. That's and not I really bad for twelve dollars. Like the broccoli casserole. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys, I'm telling Bobby she has to try this zesty ranch. See all that ranch on there, Bobby? Yeah. Take another. Now is this spicy or that is ranch? That's a buffalo ranch okay. wing sauce, like. So what did you think of the creamy buffalo ranch sauce on there? Well, I could eat this ranch and the buffalo sauce together. It's not a real spicy no. buffalo. Chicken was nice and tender. And I like the coating, the nice crunch. You want to try my broccoli and rice? Not I'm going to keep eating this. This is excellent. You didn't get a chance to try it with the pickle ranch. You have to try it here in a little bit with the pickle ranch and let me know what you think. We have a lot of food here, but Bobby's going to try a piece of this chicken breast with the dill ranch dip. So I think it's better without the dill, but he asked you if you wanted another sauce. Yeah, hey, I think right? it was honey and all that, but mm -hmm. you don't need any. No, this is, I'm going to tear it up. I'm going to finish this. Cracker Bear always has some great fried chicken, and in my opinion, this is the best flavors that they've had put together. Love that ranch in it. And that little bit of creamy buffalo sauce. How are we going to eat all this? We'll be taking it home eating it later. There's their biscuits. Now their biscuits are hand rolled every day. So and I got corn the biscuits muffins. and I got the corn muffins. Plenty of jellies. It's a lot of food for 11 o'clock on a Saturday morning. I am down to my last piece of chicken. I had to come back on and say, after eating all this, this zesty ranch that they have in this breading, after a while, it's kind of a little bite to it. I guess it, it's zesty. That's what it says it's supposed to be. I love how they did it. We didn't need this, but we decided to order it. Limited time again also. Apple spruce pie. Let's take a look at it first. We'll see the side cut. Big chunks of apple Let's in see there. Yours, huh? Bobby. Yeah, there are big chunks down there. Looks like some cinnamon on there. Plenty of streusel on top and some ice cream. Probably Granny Smith apples, most likely. Well, what did you think? Um, I like the nice big chunks of apple in there. You see that? still have some skin on there. 
That is big. Looks like a Granny Smith. That's what I'm thinking. That's what normally people use. Because the those. skin's still on there. And um, How's the taste the cinnamon on it. I'm going to try mine with some of this ice cream. It's starting to melt. I like it. I just wish um, they would have took the skin off of the apple. You can taste the skin in it. Mm -hmm. I tried it and you can really taste the brown sugar and cinnamon in there. And the skins are on the apples. Let me see if I can just get... There we go. Pull one out. There. There's the apple. Maybe that's how they make them here with the skins on them. Yeah. I think it's pretty good. Well, I tried the crust. I do like it. It's a nice cr flaky crust. Now when I make my apple pies, I've always spilled the apple and they left their zip. But we look it up and it says 50% of people bake with the apple peel on and 50 do not. And yeah, they said it uh, takes the uh, nutritional value out of it but how much nutrition you're going to get out of an apple pot with all that sugar in there so, and ice cream so let me know how you make your apple pot yeah, put in the comments with the or without let's look at our receipt for cracker barrels new fall menu the kicking fried chicken was 11.99 fried pickles 5.99 bobby's chicken fried chicken with a broccoli cheese casserole up charge 13.68 Apple Strusel Pie, $4.29. Grand total, $38.11. You know we're not going to leave without showing you some of the fall decorations. It's a pretty fountain. So they have fall, Halloween, and Christmas all in here at the same time. Look at that guy. A wreath down there. Nice welcome sign. Let's go to the other side, see what's over there. Bobby likes this. $27. Like the house. House is pretty. There's Snoopy. Look at that guy. That's pretty. They got a lot of stuff. Pumpkin spice hand soap. Yeah. Look at this picture. And some Charlie Brown shirts. A lot of owls. And they also have some kids' clothes. My first Thanksgiving. Let's take a quick peek. This tree is not here when we did the Cracker Barrel walkthrough. Very pretty. And they got batteries for all this stuff now. This place always looks nice. Here's what's left for Halloween. Got some to choose from. Well, we just left Cracker Barrel after trying a few new items on their new fall menu. What did you think about it, Bobby? First, I want to give a shout out to Dolphin, our waiter. He was very busy this afternoon. They did an excellent job. Now, I got the country fried pickles, and they were coated all over, which I did like that because a lot of times you get some pickles and the, the coating falls mm -hmm. off. This didn't, and the pickles were nice and crisp. And then you had the, the ranch that you could dip them in. I got the broccoli casserole, which I wish they would keep that on the menu and the pickles but they're for a limited time but it had the rice and the bread crumbs over it, it was very cheesy I tried to get John to try it because yeah, I thought he would like he tried it to. but he didn't so he missed out I know Bobby's hoping a lot of this stuff's gonna stay but it's not it's gone after October 9th and so is the chicken that I had the kicking it ranch chicken had that zesty ranch seasoning right in the breading Gave it that nice little ranch taste with the buffalo sauce. It was there wasn't a lot of buffalo sauce no, on there, it wasn't. and it's a buffalo ranch sauce. So to me, you couldn't really taste that. But as I ate more of it, I could tell that the ranch was zesty. Couldn't tell that in the first few bites; it just tasted like normal ranch. But at the end, it had that little bit of zest, a little bit of zing. I guess is the best way to describe. Yeah. I like that. And you tried it. You I tried liked it, it, and it wasn't it wasn't too. Um hot or anything mm -mm. for me but I only had that one bite where he ate four pieces how about the 
apple strudel pie. I did enjoy that, but I, I wish they would have took the peeling off the apple. So overall, I like this fall menu. I did. Bobby's meal is a meal, the chicken fried chicken is a meal they have all the time. But I like the new additions. Once again, before we go, October 9th, the new items are gone. Now, I did want to say the dill Oh yeah, that I forgot had, about that. You didn't the care. dipping yeah. sauce. I didn't care for that either. But he did say you could have a, a couple other choices. I think there was a honey mustard. Yeah, or honey, some kind of. But it didn't matter. You don't need any don't need dip with that. Just enjoy that zesty ranch with the buffalo sauce. So if you like this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe. Yeah, so until we meet again, J&B have, have left the building. building.